Let's take a look at the non-destructive settings on the Tramex Moisture Encounters MEX5 and ME5. Now when we're looking at the different non-destructive settings on the ME5 and the MEX5, for example, we have both the meters set to drywall. So MEX5 is set to drywall roofing and the ME5 is set to drywall roofing. And we're on a concrete substrate. So this is a painted concrete floor. Obviously, the concrete is more dense than drywall. So therefore we get a high reading. So this is what we're considering with these settings. We don't always have to be so attached to the specific label of the setting, but it has to be a similar density of material is the idea. So as you can see here now, when I switch to the next setting, plaster tile, which is obviously more dense than drywall or roofing, then the number comes down a bit. So we're gonna go and change this one as well on the MEX5, and we'll go to plaster tile. So now you see that the number has come down a bit. The idea is that when we're doing comparative readings of any particular material, we want to establish a setting in a known dry spot that'll give us a number as closest to zero, but not zero. So still we're a bit high in the dry spot. We know this is dry and we want to be able to detect moisture increase. So if we go one more to the masonry setting, which is the most dense material setting on the meter. I'll go there on the MEX5 as well. We'll go down to masonry. And now you see we're in the 30s. So this allows us to detect elevated moisture easily, instantly, and non-destructively with the Tramex ME5 or MEX5. Keep in mind also that the settings in these comparative scales are taking a reading an inch and a quarter deep. So you always have to consider what's in your range of detection. Oftentimes when inspecting floor covering over a concrete substrate, you have to keep in mind the whole range of detection. This is why the shallow depth setting is so effective in this regard, because you get less influence of the substrate and more focus on the area just below the floor covering. You can check out the video on the shallow depth setting in the link in the description. So this is comparative reading using the non-destructive scales. And again, it's very important just to have the proper scale set so that you can establish your dry number and the rest of your readings you'll be comparing to that dry number.